What up? It's Black Shy Guy, and welcome back to Fire Emblem in the game. Uh, as you guys last remember, we went on the Lady of the Queens prologue, and we're about to continue with chapter 13. Making time to rest? Come on in! Okay, just leave it to me. These expensive ingredients make me so nervous. Ah, I didn't waste a single scrap of food on this one. Yummy! This is so good! Here, I made you a to-go meal. Hope you like it. Hello. Divine One, I must say, you have the most evocative eyes. This one's like a cherry tomato. Oh, and that one, a blueberry. Um, thanks, I think. You did mean those as compliments, right? Of course. Tomatoes and blueberries are among the most precious treasures that nature gives us. I am steeped in culinary traditions from all over the world. Ergo my pension for food analogies. Ugh, so inspiring. I guess it makes sense that a chef would see the world in terms of ingredients. Thank you. No, no. It is I who should be thanking you for allowing me to find inspiration in your tomato and blueberry eyes. How impressive, Bune, to know about so many dishes from around the world. I have much more to learn, and inspiration strikes me in many unexpected ways. I aspire to experience every flavor inspiration and to create new recipes for people to enjoy. Wow, 
I look forward to seeing you do that. A chef must always be up for a culinary journey, wherever it may go. Are you here for some... Ah! One of the Corrupted! The Corrupted? Where? Diamant! Help! <laughs> Whew. Thanks for the save, Diamant. Sorry to trouble you like that. No trouble at all. However, I must ask... How did that creature manage to overpower and frighten the Divine One? It came out of nowhere. I just started running. I'm... not really good with the Corrupted. Not good with them? You handle them in battle just fine. It's different on the battlefield. I can spot them first, then steal myself before engaging. That last Corrupted soldier got the drop on me. My guard was down. I'm an easy target for them outside of battle. Hmm. I don't follow. Isn't there something that makes your skin crawl, Diamond? I suppose... Hairy caterpillars can have that sort of effect on me. Okay. Let's say... You knew you were about to see a big caterpillar. You'd have a chance to prepare. Now, imagine you're eating dinner at home, and a caterpillar suddenly drops onto your plate. Hmm... Wouldn't that startle you? Wouldn't you cry out in surprise? I probably would. That's what sneak attacks from the Corrupted feel like. Caterpillars dropping on my plate. I understand. Very clear explanation, Divine One. That was a strange example, but I'm glad you followed it. Sorry you had to watch me struggle like that. How unflattering. I wish I was flawless like you, Diamant. Flawless?
Divine One, Royals of the Three Kingdoms, welcome to Solm Palace. I'm Sephoria, the Queen of Solm. It's an honor to meet you, Queen Sephoria. And you. Really, it's a treat. And a surprise. I never expected Fogato to bring the Divine Dragon here. Out of everything he's done on his outings, this is the most impressive. I was just doing what any prince would do for his queen. That's mom to you. My son tries to act so cool, so detached. Anyway, those introductions when you arrived, there were a lot of them. First you, Divine One, and then the Pyrenees, Brodian, and Illusian royalty. Quite the guest list. I was so overwhelmed, I nearly fell off my throne. You have my apologies. We're here about a very important matter. Yes, you said. Fell Dragon Sombron's return. I had no idea all that was happening. And he created those creatures, hmm? That explains why they're so vicious. But your palace hasn't been attacked by the corrupted? Or illusion forces? Oh, it has. We got rid of them. I see. You got rid of them. Wait, really? All of them? You seem surprised. I'm impressed, but certainly glad no one's breached the palace. I'm sorry to hear the other countries are having a harder time of it. And Queen Lomera, I visited her in Lethos many times. She was always very gracious. Naturally, the Queendom of Solm stands with you in your war against the Fell Dragon. Thank you. On that note, I have a request. The Ring of the Radiant Hero, which was entrusted to Solm. May I take it? Of course. I'll get it right away. Wait. Hmm. Where was it again? <laughs> I haven't seen it for a while. Fogato, do you know where the ring might be? No clue. Maybe it's in the doodad drawer? Hmm. Please, wait here a moment. Oh. Okay. The... Doodad drawer. Has it been lying around in a musty cupboard this whole time? This is one of the strongest emblem rings. I... I don't know what to say. Ah, you know what? I just remembered. Tamara took it with her. Tamara? My sister. Also the crown princess. She's set to inherit my crown. And like Fogato, she's always out doing who knows what. To be fair, I acted the same when I was young. Anyway, she's been she's gone, gone for days. Probably on a camping trip. Oh, that sounds great right now. So it's true. The Crown Princess and Prince aren't around much. And she doesn't know when they'll be back. We can look for Princess Tamara. Do you have any idea where she might be? I think she was heading to the Southern Desert. In which case, she'd set up camp in the Oasis. All right then, we'll head there. You know, a trip to the Oasis is just what I need. I'll pack my things. Yeah, actually, Mom, how about you stay put? Oh, all right. New kids go on without me. If you find Tamara, do summon the emblem, will you? I'd love to meet him. Be careful. It's already getting dark out. Come on, everyone. I'll lead the way. This meat is gonna hit the spot! I hope you're hungry for fun, cause that's what's on the menu first! <laughs> and now, an exclusive performance from the one and only... Tamara! I'll be performing my favorite song with my backup singers, Marin and Panette. Ready. As am I. Hope you remember the words. And a one, and a two. Meat, meat, meaty meat, meat. What have we here? A bunch of pretty birds squawking away in the night. Ha! Cheap, cheap. Cheap, cheap is right. But there's nothing cheap about the ring that one has. Let's grab it. Meaty, meaty, ah, uh, yeah. Meaty, meaty, uh, uh. Hey, hey, quit your con. Who are you?
are you two? Come on, wake up! What do you think? We're bandits! Bandits? And what do bandits do? Take stuff, like your fancy ring there. Give it. Oh. Oh? Uh, oh? That's all? You're in trouble. Really in it. Right now! In it and surrounded by it. We've got monsters. Big fans of ours. These two and way more. <gasps> so, we asked nicely, but you had to make us mad. Now, we'll do this our way. I saw a bonfire. That's gotta be her. What were those strange, strange sounds? sounds. Tamara and her friends, friends, friends singing. singing. Oh. oh. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Don't, Don't worry, worry about, about it. it. People, People call, call them the racket, racket of soul for, for a reason. reason. Where did they stop? An attack, An attack, you think? Let's get over there and find out. Tamara! Oh, hey, Fagato. So you're Princess Tamara. Nice to meet you. Don't tell me. You're the Divine Dragon, right? Fagato wouldn't have come here unless he found you first. He wouldn't have... what? Uh, not important. We've got bigger stakes to roast. Have to deal with these bandits for a start. It'd really help if you could use your summoning powers on this ring. The Ring of the Radiant Hero. I've always wanted to meet the person who lives in here. Can you make that happen? All right. Great. And a one, and a two. Fight on. Emblem of Radiance. Ike. Dang, those arms! You're ready to fight! I'm Ike. Make sure you use me wisely. Thanks for your help, Ike. You'll be fighting alongside Princess Tamara in this battle.
What's that? More? Those cheap, cheap birds must have gone con for help. Fooey! That's what I say. They won't beat our monsters. That's right. Not to mention our thieves. Experts in the yard of Ransackery. <laughs> They're gonna attack the village. We have to stop them before anybody gets hurt. Marin, Pennant, come on! As you command, my princess. We'll crush them with the hammer of justice. Indeed, they shall sorely regret terrorizing these poor, innocent people. The way forward is blocked, but not for long. Go, Tamara. With my strength, you'll have no problem opening up a path. I'm your knight to command. than they do. You 
her beautiful while you lasted. Let's do this! I will not lose! That was cool, was it not? I 
got you. They're strong. Victory was mine. I'll go first. Your ordering. I just spotted a rare bug. Allow me! I will protect everyone! Don't waste my time! <laughs> I'll help! 
What a workout! I'll help. <laughs> Right away.
Nothing I hate worse than a meddler. You stuck your nose in our business, you'll pay. A night does it. The oasis is ours, you hear? We've got exclusive plundering rights. I'll help. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, into hope. Brother down again.
That takes care of that. Sorry for roping you into the scuffle, Divine One. That's all right. But I haven't had a chance to say why I'm here. I already explained this to Queen Sephoria and Prince Fogato, but the Fell Dragon has been released. He's back. Hmm. It's sudden, I know. You're probably shocked. I already knew. You did? Mom and Fogato did too. We've all known for a while now. Fogato? You too? Sorry. Truth is, our chance meeting in Tula Desert wasn't totally by chance. Were you deceiving us? The opposite, actually. I had to make sure that you weren't deceiving us. When the Fell Dragon returned, we had to take steps to protect our country. I'll lay it out for you. The palace has scouts all over Elios, keeping an eye on the Three Kingdoms. When Illusia brought back the Fell Dragon, we learned about it early on. But we couldn't beat him without the Emblem Rings. And we couldn't use them without you. Our only option was to focus on defense. The Corrupted started appearing, so we had to quickly lay out a plan. And what was the plan? First off, Mom would stay in the palace. She'd work with the Royal Guard to keep out intruders. And we'd send out our militia, the Sentinels, to bolster soldiers' efforts against the Corrupted. As Captain, my job was to watch out for the Corrupted near the Illusion border. If someone claimed to be the Divine Dragon, I'd size them up and bring them to the palace. That's why you hid the fact you're a prince. I was in the Sentinels too, and I wandered the country keeping our ring safe. As part of this plan, did you ever consider asking for another country's help? No, because then we'd have to help them. We can't fight another country's battles. We're stretched thin fighting our own. That's how Solm does it. You scratch your own back, we'll scratch ours. Thank you very much. I see. I'm sorry we misled you, but we did it to protect the Queendom. I don't mean to criticize your country's way of doing things. I'm just surprised. Here's the most important part of the plan, though. If you did turn out to be the Divine Dragon, we'd give you the Ring of the Radiant Hero. And then tell you where to find our other emblem ring. Solm has a second ring? Yep. The ring of the crux of fate. It's in the... Your Highness, a message from Solm Palace. Huh? What is it? Hortensia, Princess of Elugia, has breached the palace. Oh. Oh. What? How did she get in? We have to save Mom. Let's go. Hey! Oh no. Bye. 
Lin, I'm here for you. Where are we? Gebel Castle. At least that's what it looks like. Some place you've been? Yeah. It's near the border between the nations of Crimea and Gallia. Interesting that this place is where we'll have our trial. Trial? We were pursued here by forces from the Kingdom of Dayan. They laid siege, trapping us. Our escape was cut off. The strength of their forces was overwhelming. My father had died. And I'd taken up his role as leader of the Grail mercenaries. And this is where I met my first great trial. That sounds rough. What did you do? I fought to protect my sister and the Grail mercenaries. If you found yourself in the same situation, what would you do? I'd like to think I would also fight. I don't want anyone I care about to be harmed. And I believe you would fight well. So show me how you would defend those near to you. No words now, only deeds. A trial? You want me to fight you? If you win this fight, our bond will become even stronger. Understood. I won't lose. That's the spirit. Now, let's begin. Give me your best. All right. What's our move? Power blooms in me. Of course. I'm ready. What you got? Me, right? I'll dish it out.
and you? Sublime. I'm here. Is it my turn? my time. Let's go to my head. Let's do this.
my turn. You have my respect. I'm here. Serves you right. I will not be cut down. anymore. My resolve is unchanged. Me first! <laughs> All flowers eventually wilt. Ready. Me first! <laughs> Lend me your strength. Our bonds give me strength. I won't waste this chance. Made quick work of that. I like that look in your eye. It's clear your fighting spirit is strong. I know the only way I'll beat you is to fight harder than you. Then you understand what lies ahead. Now show me you can fight as well as you talk. Change the future into hope.
I will not forget your loss. Give me strength. Train hard. The fight for... Great work. You overcame the trial well. Thank you, Ike. You should know that going forward, the fighting is going to get more intense. It's important to remember that you're a leader, and you must not give in to the pressure. In this war, there can be no retreat. You're right. If we run away, the world will be covered in darkness. But I worry that fighting this hard may be too much for everyone. Or too much for me. There are people who need your help. Don't worry. You're more than capable, and when it seems your spirit might break, it's the bonds you forge that will win the day. I'll hold your words in my heart. Don't worry. If it looks like you've forgotten it, I'll be there to remind you. You'll be by my side? Always? Always. Thank you, Ike. I'm glad to know you're here with me. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.